Look straight at me. Oh my god, this is great. LA-based photographer Brian Bowen Smith is quickly climbing his way up the celebrity photographer ranks, shooting for high-profile magazines and working with the biggest names in film and music. But that was never a part of the plan. Bowen Smith started out as a competitive gymnast and professional rollerblader, but caught the photography bug when he was featured in a Gap ad shot by the late iconic photographer Herb Ritz. I came home, I told my wife, I said, babe, we're in trouble. She's like, what do you mean? I go, I got bad news. And she's like, what? What happened? And I'm like, I want to be a photographer. Not only did Bowen Smith discover his love of photography on a Herb Ritz set, but he quickly found a friend and mentor in the legendary photographer who passed away in 2002. Herb, um, on my birthday, had Eric Osla bring this gift. Oh, it's still good, like, whew, it's, but he gave me his camera, one of his cameras, and I know he's still around, but, because I, I really am one of the luckiest guys in the world, because a lot of this is because of him, and it's not like, I don't know how I deserved it, but. A favorite among the A-listers he shoots, we first sat down with Bowen Smith in 2006 when he was working on a skin cancer project with Marc Jacobs, convincing some very famous faces to pose nude for the cause. I thought it was very nice that after all the nude portraits I've taken in my life that he wanted to clear the set. It was amusing. I said, I think it's okay. Everyone's seen me with my clothes off already. It's no big surprise. <laughs> They, they all look so freaking cool and they all have something going on. Recently, we caught up with Bowen Smith on his latest project, a book of portraits of Marc Jacobs' employees at every level from around the world. I'm a photographer, you know, even though the book is about them, I try to bring out the best possible photo. It's not a Marc Jacobs catalog. It, it, it's about the people. And it's about me trying to, to make a piece of art, if you will, w with their help. Brian is right here, photographer of the book. Hey, Brian. Hi, um, Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. nice to meet you. When talking about your book. So many people would always comment about the people that worked in our stores. And they all sort of are, have their own style. And, you know, and I wanted to celebrate that, because it is true. We have a certain responsibility as a leader, but, but, we, but we are stimulated by people giving and bringing things and their ideas and thoughts. And, and I think this book's really a celebration of that. Each one of them is so different. They're, some of them are f nuts, you know what I mean? Some are really, sh you know, kind of shy and, you know, eclectic. Um, it, I, I love that these kids ha have a vision. They're willing to do like, oh man, I'll do a naked shot. Like, well, I want to be in the book. They're sure of themselves. I'm gonna say one, two, three, and both you guys, just bang the table and make them jump. All right, ready? One, two, three. Just go for it. Oh my God, that's perfect. Stay right there, stay right there. A lot of these kids, they, they trust me and they're like, all right. And they'll do something that they wouldn't normally do. I can't tell you how many times they're like, oh my God, that's the first time I've ever done something like that. But they love it. I love when, you know, someone's like, man, I'm such a big fan of your work. And I'm like, my work? Like, oh yeah, I have a body of work now. I've always dreamed like one day I'll have a coffee table book. And look, my first one is a bunch of kids in a store. Who knew? But I think that that concept is brilliant.
Unbelievable, thanks. Well, thank you. The latest in design is a click away. Available on iTunes Fashion Television.